Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be talking about aquarium wave makers and power heads. Um, specifically, maybe this is your first one and you're not quite sure how to set it up as far as like where to position it and how to position it and um, how to really optimize it to get, you know, good surface agitation, circulation and cleaning that substrate of your aquarium. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about and we're going to get right into it. Now this topic actually sparked last night when I was uh, speaking with one of my subscribers about how I set mine up and I was having a hard time explaining it to him. I'm terrible at explaining things through text. So I told him, hey man, I'll just make a video. Um, so hopefully um, it'll not only help you, but it'll help um, some other people as well. So since I'm right here, we're just gonna use this tank as an example and I have a wave maker right here. So. Obviously it has sponge filters in it. It's just a grow out tank. Nobody ever sees this anyways. Um, and I don't run wave makers in here. Um, they might get one soon um, just cause they're growing. But as of right now, I'm not gonna put anything in there. Um, but what I always do is if I have a tank that has, let's just say hypothetically, we have one filtration system with one intake, obviously one intake. Um, so whether that be a hang on the back, a canister, whatever um, let's say it's on the left hand side is where your intake is I put my wave maker on the same side as that intake and the reason being is because when you set up a wave maker now I set mine up slightly angled up to create nice surface agitation but generally you're gonna have a nice circulation pattern that's gonna be like a giant oval like this and then as the um, the current comes down and skims the bottom of the aquarium it's going to pick up all the waste and debris and push it right next to or into that filter intake um, which is going to obviously aid in a really clean substrate um, like at all times and um, i don't want to say less maintenance but it'll keep you from having to go in there every single day and gravel vacuuming now it doesn't take the place of your you know water changes and stuff like that still keep up on your maintenance but it'll drastically aid in keeping a clean substrate and getting rid of any fine particulates that just can't seem to make it into a filter intake now if i run multiple filter if i'm running multiple filters on my tank um, which i do for most of my aquariums um, then it doesn't matter i just pick a side um, you know if one's on the left one's on the right i just pick a side um, because somewhere in that loop a um, intake is going to catch all the debris on the back end of the rotation if that makes any sense i'm still feel like i'm not very good at explaining this um, but that's how i set mine up guys i've always set mine up that way um, that doesn't mean mine's the only way i mean other people have great ways that they set theirs up um, this just works for me and i've always stuck to it so um, if you want to try it out see if it if it helps now you know keep an eye on a few things know your fish know your aquarium um, if you implemented a wave maker for clean substrate and you know a day or two you still have a substrate caked full of waste um, well one look at your feeding are you feeding right but two you may just have an underpowered wave maker or power head um, and then vice versa if you implemented one to overall have a cleaner aquarium and you have a dust storm inside your aquarium because you bought too big of a wave maker you know recognize that and just go with something smaller um, so anyways guys that's how i set it up again i do it same side as the filter intake about four to six inches below the water and then angled up slightly to create nice surface agitation obviously don't shoot water out the top of the tank um, but that's how i do it and um, i'll leave links to you know the sun sun mini wave maker as always as well as a few other sun sun wave makers that i use um, that have you know never failed me and they're extremely cheap so you can't beat that um, but again thank you for watching guys i, I hope somebody finds this helpful and uh, hope everyone has a great week